How's everybody doing? My name is Nick or Pessimentiero, and today I'm going to be showing you how to install and activate the anti-cheat toggle slash offline launcher for Elden Ring on PC. The reason this is really important is because you don't want to get banned for modding. The method I'm going to be showing you here is to activate and use your mods offline at no point in time am I saying that you should or condoning the use of mods online you'll get banned don't do it it's not worth any of the risk it could bring so first things first is you're going to want to actually install the anti-cheat toggle and offline launcher so i'll have that link down in the description for all of you just for easy access and you're going to go to the page here you're going to click download slow download and then once it's all installed you're going to go back to your documents and so here so now that they're installed we're going to want to do this same deal as if you watch any of the other videos you're going to want to go to the toggle you're going to want to extract it i just always extract it to a folder named the same as the mod in my downloads folder and then bingo so we got anti-cheat toggle right here now all we're going to want to do is open it up and we're basically going to drag all of these and we're going to drop them into the Elden Ring game folder so and if you guys don't know how to get to your Elden Ring game folder here I'll show you real quick it takes two seconds you're going to open up Steam you're going to go to Elden Ring in your library you're going to click this cog you're going to go to browse local files click on game and that's so basically I just pulled up the exact same folder we have pulled up here so just an easy way to do it but whenever you have all of these unpacked into a different folder you're going to want to drag over all of them carry them over here to the left to your game folder and then just paste and as I've I already have this installed so you're probably not going to get this message right here that I got but if you do just replace the files in this destination that's what I'm doing Okay, so now you have it installed, but you haven't actually activated either of the toggles. So first and foremost, you're going to want to go to the anti toggle anti-cheat and double click on that. So I already had it disabled, so I just re-enabled it. So let me do it one more time. So now we're going to activate. See, anti-cheat disabled. So then when I boot up the game, you won't see the anti-cheat boot up. And then right here, start game in offline mode. That's just basically going to launch the game in a fashion to where it'll never connect to the internet and you won't have to worry about getting banned or anything because of your usage of mods. So it's just for an extra layer of protection, essentially. I got you here. You're going to want to do offline launcher 2.0. You have to boot it from the bat file. Okay, there you go. And as you see, when I boot up the game here, we're not going to have anti-cheat either. And as you can see, guys, there's no anti-cheat. So that's how we know that the mod has successfully worked. And then if you look down here in the bottom right, we're offline. If you look right to the right beside my shoulder right here, it says we're offline. So that's that's basically it. It's that easy, guys. So if this video is helpful, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and be sure to check out some of my other videos if you need any help installing mods for Elden Ring on PC. So have a good one, guys. Peace out.